you can experience some amazing animals from around the world right in your own backyard. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Jungle Joe Fortunato, director of the Bucks County Zoo and Animal Junction. Good to see you, Joe. Good to see you. All right, who is with you today? This is my friend Zabu. He is a ring-tailed lemur from Madagascar. Okay, now many people have seen the cartoon and they know that they like to move it, move it, but <laughs> tell us a little bit about how they are in real life. Uh, yeah, they certainly can move it, move it. They're very, very active animals. Um, Zabu here is just about full grown, and in the wild they hang out in groups called troops. And what they do is they're, they're mostly diurnal, so they're out during the daytime, running around defending their territory, and they use their long black and white ring tails right here, their tails um, to warn off other troops of, uh, of lemurs. Uh, they have special scent glands uh, right here you can see on his arms right here and so what they'll do is they'll have a uh, stink contest they uh, they'll scent themselves and it's more of a pheromone something that we really can't smell but um, other lemurs uh, can smell that and it, it warns them off to keep them out of their territory now they're very territorial this, these are actually an endangered species and that being that territorial may be part of that reason because they are losing habitat yes they are um, due to deforestation which is very very sad um, all species of lemurs are are endangered okay and he's an amazing animal he was actually born in captivity he was, yes. Okay, and we can see Zabu and some other ring-tailed lemurs uh, at your location. Now, you do have some new zoo hours so we can visit. We do, yes. We're open Tuesdays through Fridays from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, Sundays from 11 to 5, and Saturdays are reserved for birthday parties and other private events. Okay, so we're going to switch out Zabu and, okay. and meet another uh, creature from the zoo, but while we're doing that, you have a variety of different special events that actually are a lot of fun, and you have them throughout the year, but um, coming up, you do have a uh, an event on November 28th. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yes, we're doing our first fundraiser, so we're very, very excited about that. And uh, we, we're planning on having it November 28th. Uh, details will be on the website for that. And then uh, in December, we'll be having our second annual Christmas celebration. Okay, all right. Sounds like a lot of fun. Now, we went from a ringtailed lemur to a kinkajou. A kinkajou, also known as a honey bear, uh, just like the Winnie the Pooh character. And they get that name for their love of sweet things, such as honey. So this animal here uh, is designed to live in the trees in Central and South America. They're, they have very powerful arms and legs. And also, they have a prehensile tail. So they can use this tail as an extra limb, like an extra arm or a leg. So wow. they can hang around up in the jungle canopy down there in, in Central and South America. They have a very long tongue. Okay, that is on your microphone right oh, now. That's exactly. what we're hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry now, about that. Now, are they also nocturnal? Because I've seen them try and burrow in your shirt or, or hide their faces. They, they, okay. they are nocturnal. It's also, um, they're, they're very shy animals, so they feel safe. They actually sleep in pouches. We have pouches in their cages, so they try to find things that they can hide in, 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 in during the day. N now, this is Fiona. <laughs> the king yes. Of you. How are creatures <laughs> like Fiona actually doing in the wild? Uh, these animals here, fortunately, are doing are doing fairly well. And um, although there are areas of South America that are being destroyed due to deforestation, these animals are not threatened or not endangered, which is um, which is very very good news for them. And yes. what's the actual importance of having animals like Fiona and Zabu, who is an endangered species, in a zoo setting? Well, th they're utilized. These animals are utilized for educational programs to teach people uh, about the animals, about their habitat, about deforestation. Uh, this animal here is a very important part of the ecosystem. Uh, just like butterflies and bees, um, they help pollinate and with seed dispersal by going to different flowers in the jungle canopy. Um, they also love honey, fruits, things that are very, very sweet. Now, when we talk about what you do as a zoo, you mentioned educational programs, but you have some recent accreditations. Yes, we're very proud to announce that we recently got accredited by the Zoological Association of America. America and the Feline Conservation Federation also. Okay, and we want to remind people November 28th is your Bucks County Zoo fundraiser and you're also having a great Christmas event. Yes. Okay, a lot of fun, a lot of things happening at the zoo and we can actually have parties there, get a private tour by appointment. We just have a few seconds left and you've had two wonderful adorable animals Thank who you. look cute and cuddly <laughs> but just a reminder that these are creatures that should be in the wild or in a zoo setting. These exactly. aren't pets even though they kind of look like that today. Exactly, yes. All right, they are really wonderful. Thanks for sharing them and their, You're welcome. their <laughs> stories. Thanks for trying to behave, Fiona. We appreciate it. And thanks for being with us, Joe. Thank you. We've been talking with Jungle Joe Fortunato, director of the Bucks County Zoo and Animal Junction. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.